Hi, I'm Donald Tallman, the Executive Director of the Colorado Railroad Museum. We've got an exciting program this time. As you may have noticed in the last two Iron Horse News video programs, we've adopted a documentary style of production that features an example of one of our special pieces of equipment. Well, this time we feature two standard gauge passenger cars, a Union Pacific coach and our newest addition, a UP dining car. Here's some history about the diner. American Car and Foundry manufactured the dining car for the Union Pacific Railroad. It was put into passenger service in 1949. As car number 4801, it operated in what were commonly called the city trains, city of Denver, city of Los Angeles, and others, until the advent of Amtrak in 1971. The Rio Grande Railroad did not join Amtrak, but instead continued to operate their own train, the Rio Grande Zephyr until 1983. In 1979, the railroad purchased the UP diner as a backup for their dining car, Silver Banquet. The car was in storage for a number of years after 1983 until the museum purchased the dining car in 2013. Here's Jim Bain with some more information about the car. So it's quite a pleasure to be back in the old dining car here that we acquired this, the Anschutz Corporation acquired it, when they acquired all the assets of the Rio Grande Railroad. That was around the same time we spun off the ski train and began that operation, and that's when I joined it. All aboard! Unfortunately, we didn't have anything to do with the car. Uh, so it sat on a siding for uh, the whole time I was there, about 20 years. It just sat there and didn't, didn't suffer too badly. There's a little vandalism on the outside, a little bit of graffiti that we'd clean up and maybe a window was broken, but it was always fun to come inside of the car because it was pretty in, in, very intact. Uh, all the 48 chairs were here and it was all uh, ready to go. It sure could use a cleaning though. The kitchen was pretty much of a mess. It's wonderful to see what they've got going on now out here with the Polar Express and having this, you know, back in use. This is what a wonderful thing that is. And now, here's Jack Campbell. He's going to talk to you about moving it here to the Railroad Museum, which was quite a task. About a year and a half ago, we had the luck to acquire two 85-foot 50s vintage passenger cars, a UP Diner and a Rio Grande Combine. Uh, Upon them arriving at the property, it forced us to rethink all of our interpretive display areas as we had stuff all over the place and it didn't make much sense as it was. So we decided to move uh, uh, all the standard gauge box cars together up in the north end of the property, building track to get into that side of the property for that, and using the same track to get the UP coach down from the back side of the property and over here to pair it up with the new UP diner. Uh, where we decided to put the UP cars together was an area where there had been displays that had been there for 40 years at the museum here and we built track from our main line into this equipment taking uh, the 683, the Midland car and a Great Western Combine out of this area replacing them with the uh, 85 foot UP coach and diner. Um, several years ago I owned a rail car called the Colorado Pine that I owned for uh, over 20 years. We moved it out of Denver to the uh, uh, Indianapolis when they were rebuilding Union Station. I knew they were getting the diner because it had been down at Burnham where we had our car. So I uh, uh, came out to check it out, got involved. Well, having rebuilt my own car, I'd worked also done some work for the ski train and some other private cars. So I had the uh, experience of taking a car essentially from uh, the graveyard to Amtrak service. Uh, everything you need to do to restore a car. So I did a lot of that work. Uh, the biggest challenge on this was conversion of the air conditioning. Uh, primarily because we had to rip everything out. All the, the uh, cars originally were DC, 32 volts DC. So we had to rip out all of the uh, uh, 32 volt wires and wiring system, convert everything. Uh, we put in every uh, now is a 223 phase system, 243 phase, uh, to run all the air conditioner and heat, and that was the biggest challenge so far. Since we're not taking it to Amtrak, you don't have to worry about going on the road with it. But uh, people do like to have their cooling and heating. Cars like this are um, are unique to that the 50s time period. This car was built in 1949, and is a representative dining car of that era. It's a 48 seat diner. 
Uh, so the, the museum plans to restore it and use it for venues. In fact, right now they're using it for Polar Express. Um, so we want to use these cars to give that experience of what it was like to ride a train in the 50s. So I enjoy working with my hands. This gives me that opportunity to work with my hands and also to, to get something to a state of completion. Well, that's it for this time. I hope you enjoyed the program. As always, we'd appreciate your feedback. Also, let us know what you'd like to see featured in future programs. Oh, by the way, don't forget our gift shop for your holiday shopping. Plus, Polar Express is making its debut at the museum this year. Check out our website for details. I'm Donald Tallman, where at the Colorado Railroad Museum, you lose track of time. See you next time.